Hello, welcome back to the channel. Mervania here. Um, this is Mervania in her present form. Behind me is past Mervania, stargazing at night. But I did a thing. You might recognise this base because this is a hermit base. It is Green's base. And as soon as I found out this world was available for download, I came on to do a tour and then got completely distracted because I decided I was going to um, decorate Green's base. Now, from here, you cannot see the storage area very well, but you can see there is no chess monster down there anymore. I cleaned it all up. It's all organised. The workers did it for me, as you can see. You can tell there is no chess monster here anymore. Um, we have a sentry here. We have a sentry sitting down on the job, but don't worry, the sergeant has noticed. Um, we have a wandering trader looking to trade for emeralds, but the iron golem is not interested because he's busy going to smelt gold. And as you can see, it's all different. Um, all the chests are organised. Oh. Oh, yep, yeah. they're all organised. Um, nether quartz in here as well. So yeah, some things have changed, um, because. Green had like wool in here at one point, and I thought, that does that. my OCD, it was killing me. Um, then you have, funnily enough, the little worker putting the yellow wool away. And this is the wall of colour. Um, with It's basically blocks that won't fit over there, but they have a theme of colour, so I put them all here. Um, you've got your flowers and then everything that you might possibly need for crafting. Uh, is there anybody else? Oh, yeah, yeah. You've got the gardener um, going to put the azalea bushes back. Uh, over here. I've left that little area there that Green put there because it's really handy if you're working down here at night. Um, you have the librarian going to either put a book away or collect a list of things here because he's looking slightly confused. Um, so he's, he's looking for all the stuffs. And everything is, is here. Um, I label my wood with the actual saplings because that way uh, my eyesight's not that great. So I can tell the difference with all the saplings. Um, villager trading things, um, as well as some beehives and ladder. Oh, the ladders. Oh my goodness. The ladders should be up there. So yeah, spare thing. Yeah, I found absolutely tons of anvils. Um, they might be good for decoration at some point or um, all the various different types of light so from the, the sort of rustic to the magical chains, modern um, glass. I found a bunch of tinted glass and then all the sort of decorative stuff that they added. So yeah. This is this is the decorative area, um, and that includes the horse armor, because at some point I want to build a stable round here, um, and build a, a proper um place for this. Not that there's anything wrong with the place that Green's got the sniffers, but I want to build a bigger place for them, and I have a bunch of coral, so I want to 
do something with the big lake over that way, I think. Is it that way or that way? Uh, could be that way. Um, because I'll see, you'll see it from up there. And then you've got all the stone. Now, this used to be three chests worth of stone and no space and cobble everywhere. And so this has all been organized. And in each area, I have put a trash bin for excess stuff that I know I will never, ever use. Um, that doesn't go for dirt and grass because I do have a plan for that at some point. So, yeah, and then you've got another wandering trader here shouting to the to the other sentry. Um, hey, do you know where I can sell this? Um, so, yeah, so a bit of life down here, a bit of life. I have never used that nether portal. I, I cannot land on it. Um, my flying skills are absolutely shocking. So, um, speaking of which... <laughs> yeah, you can attain that any better. Come on. Really? Oh. Ah, right. So yeah, I can't land on that. Ow. So you can see the University of Magical Study. I have made a huge step in getting this base organized. Now I will say that one thing that I have added that is not a game changer is immersive painting because I wanted to do a gallery full of maps but some of the maps were just, they were too big. There was no way I was, I was fitting all of the maps in the gallery as maps. And to point out that the maps do not always do justice to the hermit that's been working on them. Um, perfect example is Azuma. You you do not see Azuma's base on a map. So um, I've been working on getting screenshots, good screenshots, of all of the bases like that where you need to see the actual build to appreciate how much work has been done in. This is a homage to Green's room. Um, this is all of the um, events, uh, pranks, uh, achievements that Green has been involved in. Um, but we'll discuss that um, in another video. This, and I can say there's 27 because I've just, before I logged on, I spotted one down by the, the sniffer farm. So there's 27 crafting tables that I have found all around this base. And that comes from um, like places way up in the roof, downstairs in, in the bottom part of the rock, um, in the towers. I mean, I had a good old, I'm a nosy person, so I had a good old nose and I found as many as possible and I put them in a chest just because I thought it was quite funny at the amount of crafting tables I found all over this build. And I'm not even sure I've found them all yet because I haven't finished the interior, interior decor. This is a thing. Um, I decided that because this was a rock formation, um, I would bring the amethyst into, into it and um, crystallise the, the rocks, so to speak. Um, and since as Green loved... Um, Scar's hot guy so much, I got him not one, but two calendars and put them up. And they, this, talking about finding things, are all the eggs I have found in chests around the build. I have spotted some in the deep depths of the, 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 the rock that I need to use a piston to actually lift them um, and get them up here. But this whole room is just, it's a tribute to the dragon egg prank. Um, I know that that's not effectively Green's pr prank, but uh, come on, it was really funny. And he did put thousands of chickens in Doc's base, so he kind of did deserve that. 
Sorry, Green, but you did. The biggest part of the whole decor that I have done is down here. I have spent hours and hours and hours just figuring out what went where, what was best placed where, because I do not, I could put these immersive paintings, which I forgot to show you, I could put these kind of everywhere because I love immersive paintings, um, especially if it gives this this whole base the theme that this is a hermit base and it's telling a story. But I really don't want to destroy any of the rock work. I mean, I grudgingly took out a column there just so that I could get this picture of green with his sniffer egg, wondering if this one is going to be snoot. So, I think snoot was the sniffer name. I'm sure it was. Anyway, so this staircase was, was not here, and I'll put in the video of my tour of Green's base um, and point out some of the crafting tables. So this is the University of Magical Study and it's the main study hall. And the students are not to remove items from the main study hall. Uh, up here we have active dragging he dragon head above in stasis. Do not touch. We do not want another escapee dragon. That was up there. That is a dragon egg that was up there, and for some reason, Green had it on a platform with a lamp next to it. So, I used a piston. It is the original egg that Green left there. And I have hooked it to the ceiling, and it is in stasis. And this is authorised students only. This I have plans for, but I haven't started them yet. Um, So, I've got all of the hermits in here, it took me ages to find that I couldn't get an Azuma head. And in each of the seasons that I've watched, um, Azuma has always been the one to make an automated potion um, farm, if you like. And I really don't understand how he does it. So, yeah, um, my tribute to Azuma is him making is auto well it's not automatic but it's his potion farms i've been collecting some of the um original books um which is tango's wish if i can put that back the dragon pet jewel hermit easter egg hunt i'm trying to just find all of the oak statues that's my is that yeah that's my spare statues book um I've never done statues before. Um, I logged in and found a statue book. Um, I found a few actually, and I found the wand and I decided I absolutely and utterly hated the wand. I could not get the wand to work. The book, however, is just sheer magic. Um, and I love Cleo's work, but this is as far as I can go. The armor, um, goddess herself is up here reaching for a book on the TCG rules which she's ready to take over to Cub and Vintage Beef. So yeah. Oh and I'm really, really sad um about Jelly. I did this before I heard about Jelly, so I'm really hoping Scar is doing well. And um, I have to say, although I'm decorating your base green, um, you, Scar and B-dubs are my absolute favourite builders. Um, but I have been watching Scar for the absolute longest time. Um, and then obviously I started watching B-dubs and then I started watching Green's tutorials and the other one that I watch who's not a hermit is, is Mythical Sausage. So I, I absolutely, these guys are my idols when it comes to building. Um, and if it wasn't for them, 
and Cleo, I would not have been able to do any of this. So it's a tribute really to all of the hermits, but I will tell the other hermit stories um, later. Um, and this is a creeper who is in a constant state of explosion and it is in stasis. Um, and we're keeping it that way. So, I said I would put a clip in of Green's base um, when uh, I was touring it. I realised that I'd toured around it, but not inside it. I'm currently in spectator mode because I don't do anything in the tour world. As you can see, the shulker, the chest monster, is still there. Um, there is a crafting table over there, that is number 27. Um, and as I've been flying around, yeah, I noticed another chest monster. And I noticed another chest as well. Um, where is it? Up the top is like a maze. There are so many different roofs and is it down here? Um, around this corner. Oh, there is a chest somewhere. I seen it. There is a chest somewhere up here. But yes, um, yes, so I don't think that is ever getting moved because I am just not scaffolding all the way up here to, to tidy that up. Oh, I never noticed this. There's a little entrance in here. What is in here? Oh, chest number 28. What is up here? And why have I not accessed that? What farm is this? I'm not seeing anything. And if there's a farm here, where's the access to it? I can't even open that. Oh, 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 chest number 29. Oh, chest number 30. It's like find all the Pokemons. I've no idea what farm that is. And Chest number 31. Oh, oh no, 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 no. I've picked that one up. Um, I have picked that one up because this is where I have put the gallery. So these chests are all accounted for. Um, but the, the higher up chests are the ones that I haven't actually... And there's another chest up here. Um, okay, I have no idea what that farm is for. I will investigate that later, but um, I said we would tour all of this, as you can, as you know, has been moved. Um, I did add a little sort of wall here to stop, I believe I, I um, removed those chickens humanely. Um, but I've put a wall here and this is the bedroom and then I've put a little tribute area here to the dragon egg and then down here I put the staircase coming down there weaving back and then down to the floor there and 
there you can see the dragon egg is up there and it's got two lamps and I don't know why it was never taken down maybe he didn't have a piston on hand at that point oh no there's another chest here and redstone and I don't know what the redstone is for and I can't even click because um, I'm inspecting and another dragon egg okay I need to get up here and sort that out I did not realise that but um, yeah so I put the whole floor in here and this I've put a whole floor in here and as you can see I've tried minimally to not change the work inside it's, it's like I will move the odd block but nothing major because I love I love this shape. Um, this is a challenge to me to try and actually do something with this shape. I know that egg is there, it's still there in survival. I've got to get a piston and sort that out. I know the cactus farm is there. I found the entrance to the cactus farm and I've decorated it up a bit so that I can go in and out. Um, I mainly use the cactus farm for bone meal now because I I will never need green dye again in my entire life. Um, so yeah, this is what it looked like before it became the library. This is the bit that I'm doing next. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to carry it through. Actually, I think it's a possibility that I will carry it through to this side. Um, I know it's not going to be a decked out... Um, montage for those of you that spotted tango near the authorised area um, I do know that these are all full of chicken stuff um, I have found a few chickens and humanely um, evicted them so at uh, this there are still a couple up there here um, this rock it took me ages to figure out why it kept dripping water and I didn't show this in the video but what I did was I scaffolded up come through that wall and I've put glow berries and, and amethyst on it just to light it up because there were zombies still spawning in here or somewhere around here and it was really annoying listening to them grumbling all the time so I did fix that bit, however, um, because of it's a waterfall and I absolutely love that feature, I left it. The water still drips into the library and I do not care, it's atmospheric. It's an old, old, ancient like school, uh, university of magic, so that should not be a problem. Um, where I have done some work but not showed it on camera, where is the stairs at? It's in here. I have started a, almost a hermit base gallery. But like I said in the video, I'm using immersive paintings for some of them. Because, uh, for instance, docks. There's no way I would get docks whole map on any of these walls. Um, and then I've taken another part of the gallery up to this level and I have an idea for this cannon I've not touched the cannon yet but I do have an idea for it so this level will be getting done as well uh, as more of a protection for the university uh, and there will be a, a villager bell villager bells put throughout the, the gallery and throughout the main hot study hall to alert the soldiers to the cannon if anything happens. So and that is as far as I will go. I do not think I want to go this far up, especially not now that I've seen that there's a farm somewhere in here. Well, not here. This is a balcony. Um, I mean, this place goes all the way up. Um, ah! 
Ah, right, okay. I might scaffolding up here and try and figure out what this farm is. Um, and there's chests up here. Where do they link to? I have got no... Oh, a sugarcane farm. Okay. I should use my scaffolding more effectively then. <laughs> um, yes, just in case you didn't realise, I'm doing the other world. I'm building in the other world in survival because... Well, let's face it. It's... All of the materials are available that I need. And if Grian doesn't have them, I go looking in other people's bases for them. I am going to say, cheerio, and I will see you in the next episode when I hopefully have got all the maps done and I have a full gallery of base pictures and base maps. And I'll possibly even have the next part, which is under the main study hall, started the authorised area. So thanks all for watching. Thank you, Green, for supplying a, an awesome build to work with. Uh, I'm really having fun here. Apologies for the lightning. That's going to be really loud. Um, and I will see you next time.